Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from the Double E Vibes and in this lecture I will discuss what is the DC load line or the load line of a diode. Okay, so whenever you have a source which is represented by E and you connect it with the diode such that it is forward biased by a resistor RL or simply R which is known as the current limiting resistor and you can see since it is a closed path so the current can be established in the circuit this circuit behavior can also be represented graphically because when you will apply the kvl for that you can see minus e plus 0 0.7 volt diode drop if it is a silicon diode plus i d into r is equal to 0 or simply you can also say that it's equal to minus e plus vd diode voltages plus id into r which is equal to 0 and from here you can determine id is equal to e minus vd over r this equation can also be split it in the form of id is equal to minus 1 over r into vd plus e over r okay if you closely look at this equation you can clearly see that this equation resembles with the straight line equation which is written as y is equal to mx plus c where slope is equal to minus 1 over r and c is equal to e over r okay now the circuit behavior has been represented in terms of the straight line equation okay this can also be shown on the graph where you can see that vd is the independent variable while id is the dependent variable okay so when I will draw the graph of this particular equation, VD will be shown on the x-axis while ID is shown on the y-axis. And you know how to plot an equation once you are given the points. ID is equal to minus 1 over R into VD plus E over R. Okay. When vd is equal to 0 volts because we need to find the intercepts on these axis then we will be able to plot this straight line equation and this is the procedure first you make x is equal to 0 and you determine the value of y and then you make y equal to 0 and you determine the value of x okay so when vd is equal to 0 it means we are talking about the id axis because it's the y axis and on that axis vd is equal to 0 then putting the value of vd is equal to 0 we will have id is equal to e over r e is the source voltages and r is the resistor and it is some positive number so that's why it will be represented somewhere over here it is equal to e over r fine and when id is equal to 0 so when you will substitute id is equal to 0 in this equation you will have vd over r is equal to e over r and these both resistor will be cancelled out and you can see e is equal to vd so vd will be equal to the supply voltages in this way you have found the intercept on the x axis and y axis the next step is to join these two points and you can clearly see that it will be a straight line like that okay this is uh, this is the uh, graphical representation of this circuitry behavior where the diode was present and other way to represent the diode current when it is forward biased is determined using the diode equation which is very famous and we know that it's approximately equal to id is equal to is into e raised to power vd over zeta v 
T and when the diode is actually forward biased then zeta is equal to 1. So ID is approximately equal to IS e raised to power VD over VT where VD is the diode voltages which is usually 0 0.7 volts and VT is the thermal voltages. Fine. When you will draw this equation on the graph, you know that as it is representing some exponential function, say the, so they both, <clears throat> so it is drawn something like that. Okay. Now this point of intersection where they intersect each other is known, a very famous point and it is no, and known as the Q point. Q point is also known or is also referred as the operating point of the diode. What does it mean? It means for the fixed supply voltages or the, for the fixed source voltages and for the fixed value of the resistance, obviously there must be established some current I D in the circuitry which can be determined by drawing the projection over here. So you will have some values of VD and ID and it is known as the operating point of the circuitry. Whenever diode will be forward biased obviously there must be established certain Q point which can be found by drawing the diode current equation and by drawing the this straight line equation this straight line equation is also known as the dc load line and its intersection with the diode current equation gives us the q point fine now uh, let's see what happens when you start decreasing the value of the resistance okay looking at this equation when you will start decreasing the value of the resistance we know that what should happen the general law which is the ohm's law it says that keeping the value of e fixed when the resistance start decreasing obviously the current will increase so i will draw the new line which will have this point fixed because we are not varying the value of E and the current should increase and we are going to get a new intercepting point on the y axis which is E over R bar okay <clears throat> it should have been drawn as a straight line something like that but its starting point is same fine now what happened since the value of the resistance was decreased which resulted in the increment of id fine so let me write down over here the value of the resistor was decreased which resulted an increment in id okay now what if i want to bring this id back to its original value if we want to bring id to its previous value means before the increment how can we do, do that one way is to start decreasing the value of the battery so what i will do i will start decreasing the value of E voltages okay so keeping the same slope of this line I will shift it downward and it should be something like that this is the new value or the reduced value of E for bringing back I to its original value so you can see that why I am discussing this thing? Basically what happens? There are certain reasons when the current of the circuit can increase because of some unwanted increase in the temperature. So if you want to retain the 
previous q point as you can see here what happened when the resistance of the circuit was decreased the current increased and our q point actually shifted upward from its original value okay and if we want to bring back the value of id to its original value then what we did we decrease the value of e but it also resulted in a new q point and it is actually shifting our q point from its original value either upward or downward because of the unwanted change or rise in the temperature because we know that with each degree rise in temperature the value of vd decreases by 2.5 milli volts so the diode current equation will also be shifted towards left and you can see it can be drawn like that now so our q point then remains as it is means the current is as it is but there is a little bit change in the value of the vd now so in this way if the q point is being disturbed we can vary the value of the supply voltages just to get back the original value of the vd where obviously the current will be the same but there will be a little bit change in the vd okay and since our load is more dependent on the driving current as compared to the voltages across the diode terminal because if you look here we are not much concerned how much the diode voltages are present they are not as much abruptly changing but the load current matters the most because it is actually driving this particular load so if the diode if the load current is manageable by varying the value of e then that is okay to obtain or recover our q point thank you for watching